Hello everyone. Been following me for a while. You know this was not in the plan. But I gotta tell you, I was having horrible computer issues and I got tired of OneDrive, updates, drivers, programs. I decided to bag it all and I went with this ASI Air and I gotta hand it to ZWO. This product really works well, I can't believe it. it. It just it just goes. I was using this thing about an hour after I got the whole thing set up. So I'm Kurt Zepatello, and you're watching AstroQuest One. Okay, so this is going to be a quick setup overview. There's a ton of good videos out there already, so I don't want to redo what's already out there. I will say that uh, Peter Zelenka, Stephen Miller from Entering Into Space, and Cody from Astro Blender, the, I used their videos primarily in order to get this thing set up, and I will put links to their videos right up here, as well as into the comment section, so you can go check them out. Okay, so here goes. First off, here's the ASR Pro, and it actually comes with a dovetail on it. Or, and you can actually put the dovetail here if you want to bring it upside down. So this dovetail can go into any little shoe that you have on your scope already. Okay, so I'll just reattach it. So I thought that was... Fabulous, it's incredible. Now, to connect it up, I followed ZWO's advice, basically. First off, you connect the stuff to the um, back end of the USB portions of the uh, Pro. Now, they give you two USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports. They recommend connecting your main camera. In my case, it's the ASI 294. MC Pro, they connect. They mention they recommend connecting that up to one of the USB 3 ports, and the other USB 3 port. They want you to put this little flash drive in here. This is what's where your images are going to be saved to. It saves it right to this thing, which they give you, and it's a 64 gigabyte flash drive. So I just insert that. They also recommend you connect your guide camera to one of the USB 2 ports. Okay. And for the guide camera, I got the ASI 120. And the other USB, the remaining USB 2 port, they recommend connecting up the mount. Now, in my case, I have a EQ Mod direct cable. I, I got this from Pegasus, it was like 30 bucks. So it connects directly into the mount so I don't have the hand controller or anything to worry about. So this is a direct connection, okay. All right, now what about your other things? What if you have an automatic focuser and or a filter wheel? Well, they recommend connecting that up to the back end of your imaging camera, which also has two additional USB 2 ports. Now, in my setup here, I don't have a filter wheel, but I do have the electronic focuser. I have the ZWO electronic focuser. This is my second one of these. I, I like the first one that I had so much, I purchased another one uh, for, this, for this setup. So anyways, I will... Oh, I already got it. I never disconnected it. <laughs> it's already connected. Okay, then they recommend connecting all the power to everything. And there's four different power ports that they give you on this uh, Pro, this ASR Pro. And we'll connect the, this one, this is the main camera. This one right here is for the mount. And then this one here is for the electronic focuser okay and that's all i have right now i don't I, there's still an open port on my uh, asr pro so this is pretty much how i have my wiring it's it's actually quite simple i've already i've already used it and I, all the wires were out of the way 
The only one that I have coming up or down is this one. This is the power wire, okay? The power wire, and that just connects up into the top. So now the ASI Air Pro is now powered. Okay, so that's my quick setup. Let me run through the using my device to connect up to the ASI Air Pro. This is a Raspberry Pi type thing and it needs some way to input commands into it. And this is where I had trouble with. Um, it worked fine. The problem was my inability to use an iPad. I'm really not good with iPads. All I do is check email and stuff like that. But fortunately, my wife was good and she actually helped me out after I was struggling for about an hour and a half. So my ineptness is what took a, took a while. So I'll, I'll go through what I did wrong so you don't make the same mistake. All right, so I've got a close up of this because before you link up to it with your device, which I'm gonna show you exactly how to do, you gotta make sure this thing's operating properly. First off, right here, this little removable um, SD card is the operating system for this. And ZWL recommends that you make a, or back this up. So you want to carefully take it out of here and back it up using Win32 Disk Manager. So I, I've already done it, and and Cody from Astro Blender, which I got a link to, shows you exactly how to do this. I did something a little bit different than he did. I did that, and I backed it up. But I also um, purchased another blank one of these things and made a separate backup so I can, if this one corrupts, I can just swap it out real quickly. Okay. First off, I've already plugged it in, and now you just want to turn it on. And you'll see the power button. Hopefully, light goes on. And right next to it, the the SD card light blinks off now. I don't know. Hopefully, you can see that. And it, it blinks off not regularly. It's ir an irregular blinking on and off. It's a right, and then it goes blink. And then, hopefully, you can see this down here. Then the... Wi-Fi light is now on. So this means it's everything's operating properly. One of the things that confused me was I kept thinking this card light has to stay on, but it doesn't. It goes off and as long and it goes off and then this thing stays on and now everything's working properly. All right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna kick the camera out of the way. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to use my tablet here my iPad, and I'll show you all the buttons on here. You have to download the ASI Air app from the App Store, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go. Okay, well, here we go. So first thing you do after you download the software, we're going to open up the ASR Pro, and you'll notice it gives you this, and I'll go next, and it doesn't seem to be working. And this is what took me um, about an hour to uh, diagnose what the problem was here because it wasn't letting me do anything. I kept trying to enter the password. It kept trying to enter and it, it wasn't working. So what, what the problem was, was I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna go into my settings. Okay. And I'm gonna to go to where it says Wi-Fi and it says Wi-Fi Spectrum EE. That's my home Wi-Fi. For whatever reason, it automatically logs on to your main Wi-Fi, the, your house Wi-Fi, rather than the, um, the ASI's Wi-Fi. So here, all I have to do is just press my ASI Air. And now it's linked up to the ASI Air. So now if I come back and go to, and open up the ASI Air app, There we go. So it would give you this thing. and It would already have the date and time, and it already knew my latitude and longitude, okay? Then I would go in here to mount. Now, this is th this right here, what I'm pressing, it didn't show EQ mod. It, would, it, it started off by showing this. And I spent an hour saying, oh my God, my mount's not here. I don't know what to do. And I kept going back and forth, up and down. It wasn't explained to me. This is what I'm saying, my own ineptness with using an iPad. All you have to do is a scroll. But uh, anyways, then you would enter your main scope focal length. Now mine is the Celestron 8-inch 
uh, edge, but I have the focal reducer on here, the 0.7 focal reducer. That's why it's not 2000, it's uh, 1400. And I put my guide scope, I'm using the Orion short tube, which is 400 millimeters. My main camera is the 294, guide camera is the 290, or, I mean 120. I don't have an electronic focuser, but I do have the EAF and it knew about this. And you just press enter and you're ready to rock and roll. Now it gives you this type of screen first off. And again, I'm not going to go through all this with you guys uh, for the main part, for the most part. You can just look on some of those other people's videos because they do a much better job than I am. But I, I did manage to do some imaging the first night I actually used this thing and it's been raining ever since. So I really don't have a great image to show you yet. But okay, folks, that's all I really have for you. Before I let you go, though... In case you were wondering where I got these straps, I've got straps holding all my wires on and whatnot, these Velcro straps. I'm, a lot of astrophotographers use these things. Mine was Envision. I don't know if it's, looks like it's mirrored, but I don't know. Maybe it comes out right side up. They come in all different sizes, and I, I have a whole bunch of these things that I've been using for this. Well, anyways, that's all I have for you, folks. And thank you for tuning in. I plan on making a lot more of these videos using my Edge 8. I'm sure I've got a lot to learn, and when I learn something, I'll be sure and share it with you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.